Tell me what you've been up to. I've seen you on tour. Are you right. doing your thing? I'm on tour. Uh, Maxwell Magic Blige. Uh, we're in Houston now. Um, what else? We did Europe. Wow. We've been doing uh, 28 dates, so I'm working. How was your? What was the uh, reception like from the fans overseas? Great. I think uh, that was my first time over there. People hearing my music, so it was pretty good. I found that a lot of fans in the UK, they really appreciate R&B music, way, music better. way, way better, way better more, than the United yeah, States. Yeah. I don't know if they peep that, but like, they'll know all your words to your songs, and you don't even know that they like, when people, I mean, they'll go back and listen to all your old stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. They bring up my Kojak and Cadillacs project. They're like, oh, we listen to Cole. Well, they're like, Jack was my favorite one. And I'm like, wow, you guys actually dug and listened to the music. It's great. So you think you'll ever go back over there and perform other days? Yeah, I'm about to go on tour in February, so when I go on tour, I'm going back over. Another tour? Another, my tour. Work, work, don't stop? No, no stop. So how has the tour been with uh, Mary J and Maxwell? Because they're like veterans in the game, you kind of seeing them operate. Oh man, uh, 20 years, like Maxwell, Mary J, Blige, both, they're different, but they're, just, they're icons in their own right, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, uh, Mary J, Blige, like hip hop, soul, R and B. Who I mean, Jay Z, Method Man. You know what I mean. I grew up listening to nineties R and B, Jodeci. So uh, and then Maxwell, you know, smooth R and B, falsetto. So it's just it's dope because I feel like I ride somewhere in between that. Absolutely, I feel like you have that type of music. Um, just like when I was saying, oh, I remember that Mary J song. I was in elementary school. Mm -hmm. I feel like that same vibe that people get when they listen to an old Mary track or an old Maxwell track like oh that was in love and basketball I feel like people are gonna rock to your stuff like yeah. that too because you have that that feeling that, that, feeling, mm. that timeless don't music. let it be in a movie and it be during like the, the scene the yeah movie. like ooh, yeah or you know I find um when I've seen other interviews with other artists or even when I talked to Keith Sweat he was like man people come to me all the time I'm like I'm in my baby with you That's he's right. playing in the background I like that I like to inspire love that love Babies. So is that kind of like a lot of your music, like when you go into the studio inspiration, you want to make a song that's going to make a woman like take her clothes off when she comes to the Not home? really. I mean, but that's part of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I feel like I speak from, like I said, the 90s was big on like that, ooh, that, that grinding. Like, so I always had that feeling, but um, I base it on real life situations and myself, you know, whatever, whatever the melody comes from. The feeling of the song and uh, whatever I'm trying to talk about. As I look down, I'm like, you saw me. I'm I'm like, ah, I'm like, Inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always want to be in music. There you go. Um, so, do you feel like um, life situations or even people you've encountered or just like women in general give you like inspiration for different music or songs and melodies? Yeah, I think that uh, we as men, we draw inspiration from women. Of course, that's what you guys are here for to inspire us and we're supposed to inspire you and to grow together and be, you know, uh, you find someone who inspires you. I feel like, but you also go through those crazy relationships where they're like, you are just fucked up. You're a fucked up person. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like uh, those situations also cause us to grow and they give us inspiration to write these heartbreaking R&B They're not even R&B, just this, just real emotional music or real emotional songs. You tap into your emotions and say how you feel. So I feel like my relation to women has been, you know, just that balance of one minute you, you're turning me on, the next minute you're getting on my nerve, and the next minute we're probably breaking up, which I feel like that is everybody's life. <laughs> so. And that's crazy to me because when they, I hear people say R&B is dead or it's like a lost art, what do you think of that? Um, 
I mean, I feel like R&B is definitely different from what we know as R&B. Um, I didn't do this and say I want to be an R&B artist. I want to be an artist. I, I, I appreciate all types of music, country, rock, R&B, soul, gospel music, you know, Caribbean, reggae, Spanish music. So, and I grew up listening to all those types of music for all of my life. So, I feel like when contributing to R&B, it comes with all of those influences as well. So it's not necessarily R&B as you would expect. It's just the way, you know, uh, it's just soul. It's, I think that we are missing that in music. So I feel like to hear that, you kind of get boxed into that. Oh, this is R&B or it's neo soul. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to bring about a different feeling for music. You know, it's just music at this point because We've been exposed to like David Bowie's and Outkast and Nine Inch Nails or Green Day or No Doubt or then D'Angelo or H-Town. You know what I mean? So many different influences that it's like a sound at this point in the world. So as your music, as you continue to grow as an artist and your music continues to evolve, what do you think that sound from Rojo is sound like? Do you think it's more rock? Do you think it's just some eclectic sound? Of all your experiences and all the places you've traveled? Yeah, I think that that is the only reason I really kind of like just drawing people in and letting them know like, okay, listen, this is what I'm influenced by, this is what I've listened to, this is what I grew up listening to, this is where I've lived. I don't think all artists really open up and give you that much information, but I feel like this is a ride. And it's like, if I myself was to get to know a new artist, I would want to know, like, okay, what do you listen to? And I'm kind of telling that in my story when I get on stage. Like, listen, these are all the things I'm inspired by. So if you take this ride with me in El Dorado, you get to see where I'm going to go on the journey, because it can go anywhere. And if you two just appreciate music and sound and can get with this first body of work that I put out and get used to my voice and my tone, and just realize that oh, you can probably do anything and just see what I want to do next versus saying, listen guys, this album is going to do country. And you're like, waiting for the Ellis Country album and then you're like, such expectation that you're disappointed. So I just rather people just listen to what I put out and just perceive it as it were. Let me know your first, I knew I made it moment when, or I knew that I had a major following when this happened. Uh, I think it's still growing. I don't think I've had that yet. Yeah, I think I'm, I've been on tour. Ooh. <laughs> I think I've been on tour with, uh, I've been on my tour with Maxwell since the summer. Been great, and I feel like I've been uh, gaining fans from just this, this genre over here of just soul and these people that have been following Maxwell and now Mary J. Blige. So now my job is to establish myself as like, okay, this is who Will James is. When you come to a Will James show, this is the feeling you won't get. You're gonna pour some Jack, you might smell some smoke in the air, you might, but you gonna feel it, you know what I mean? It's gonna be different, it's gonna be visual. Like, I feel like, uh, that's what I'm bringing back. Something different. Something different. What do you want your fans to take away from a Will James experience or when they uh, download your album and they listen to it? I don't know, I think that I'm gonna leave that to them, whatever they feel. And I like, I, I'm curious to hear what people feel because I can't tell you what I want you to feel. I know what I felt when I recorded it. You know, it's, like I say, it's about the journey, where I've been, love, life, relationships, as a man from an honest place. So there's women that listen to it and feel something completely different. You can listen to Holy Water and feel something completely different from what I felt, you know what I mean? What I do want you to take is that it's real, it's authentic. It's not, it's not R&B, but it's not rock, but it's solo, but it's not hip hop, but it's something that you want to keep your eye on and get into, you know, because it's real. You want to feel something, you clean up your house to it, you look to it, you can drive to it, you know what I mean? I think it's like laying in the bed sometimes, music. Taking a bath, with a bag. candle. Yes, like that. You know what I mean? Zone Have out. a little drink. Wine. All day, like, you see treat yourself a little bun, a little bun. Clean your hair with a bun, you know, walking around in your boy shorts and your bra top and, you know, 
glass of wine yeah. and you smell it. Let the doors open. Yeah, but for dudes, I want you to be able to ride to, uh, to go on a date, by the way. It's the conversation right here. Yeah, this is how she gonna relax when she Wow. Is. Like, wow. She feels that by the third or fourth song. She's like, oh, this is nice. Hey, he already got you in the door already. It's a date. <laughs> <laughs> so, why you know you're getting ready to go on tour? What's next? Another project? What I mean, like, are you going to brand yourself? Because I already know you've partnered with uh, Jack Bruce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Uh -huh. um, so, that's a good look. Yeah. But, are you planning on, you know, reaching out to other brands? Are you doing your own thing? Or branding yourself? Because, I mean, you have your own kind. Yeah, I'm gonna do all that stuff. I think that uh, the first year is just establishing and shape myself as far as like people know I'm here. Next year, I, I mean, I've been working on clothes, I've been working on uh, more videos, uh, some acting stuff, you know, a lot of stuff. So, like I said, I'm just rolling it out, working on a new project. New album. Miss Vision is Yeah, it's important, oh, man. I remember. Did you check out her stuff? See? See, but here's the thing. I don't watch TV and I'm probably on the internet so I'm working. But music okay, wise, so I'll always have the earbuds in my ear. So make sure you check out the visual to Birds though. Okay. Because it's a little gem. It's actually. I think I'm just going to project it onto my TV instead of just playing it in my ears. And you already know. You already do. Sexy night. See? There you go. Hey, hey. It's a feeling. It's a feeling. So tell me, before I see it, you gotta give me a hint of what was the whole mindset behind the video. The mindset behind Burn Slow, where the song says, waking up to you in the morning is better than sunrise, so we can keep the curtains closed. Light a few more candles and burn Baking up with you in the morning, trying to get a little rewind, because I ain't trying to let you go. Just light a few more candles and burn slow. So that's the feeling. Okay, we already know where that feeling goes. Oh. So, boom, this has been a real James moment. <laughs> Ladies, you already know the deal. If you are already now, you've already started lighting your candles. Oh, it's even a candle burning. You know, yeah. burning, and you know, they're already pulling and their hair up in the bun. You know, burn them slow. They're burning slow. Either way, you burn slow. I burn already slow, know. So sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know holy water, this is just, well, no holy water, this is just uh, Jack Me. Well, actually, it's not me, Jack Me. Right. In the past for the rest, I'ma treat you like, get my last cigarette. Look her in the eye, say goodbye, this is my goodbye, I walk through the door.